Hello Carol and welcome to Premier Melbourne. Okay, so we've just had e-commerce and now m-commerce with the meteoric rise of smartphones. Um, and you talked about the M wallet today as well. Can you explain that a little bit more and how far away you think we are from this? Um, I did kind of outline a few different types of um, mobile commerce. So there's commerce that we know traditionally, which is the experience that we know from desktop applied to and formatted for uh, mobile. But we're also seeing this trend of the mobile itself being used as a payment device, so we're able to scan over different devices or um, talking to point of sale. Um, it's happening in the States, and I've showed a few examples of the department stores um, in the States who are using, um, experimenting with that. Um, how, when it will actually um, come to Australia, I'm not too sure. I don't know. Um, there's a lot of players with a lot of money um, invested and um, a lot at stake in terms of consumers. So it's inevitable and um, when it happens, it's hard to say, there's still security issues and privacy issues and all sorts of things, relationships to negotiate, um, but it's it will happen. It's, it's exciting. Yeah. Um, people have a really personal relationship with their phones. Why do you think it's such a powerful tool in our lives now? Um, I just think it, it documents so much of um, who they are and what they do and where they go. It's, it's almost a tracking device in some instances. So um, as opposed to a computer that is just um, very kind of one-on-one, -on -one, um, I'm trying to say, um, it's not... <laughs> um, it, just, it, it just has more about us, about our yeah. history, about who we interact with. Um, where we are, what we're doing. Exactly. Why Why should brands and retailers consider an app for their business? If they've already got a website, they've already got e-commerce set up. Um, they should definitely be considering website, mobile website so yep. to start with. In terms of an app, it, um, as I mentioned, it just depends on what their strategy is and what they want to achieve. Um, we saw some of those examples today of people doing interesting things and utilising what um, the phone and an app can actually do, which is access to camera, enable barcode scanning, access to music, all that sort of thing. So um, I think that people just need to kind of stick through what they actually want to achieve and the right So just on a step-by-step -step basis and consider yeah. what they their business yeah. needs. Yeah. Um, trends including QR code that you discussed today and there's been a few issues I guess with the effectiveness of Q QR codes and what they look like and that kind of thing. Do you still see this as a powerful tool in the future? Um, I think we're going to be going to be made redundant eventually because I think other um, technologies and features will actually take over them and we'll probably look back at QR codes and become a lot of our old school yeah. kind of stuff. Um, I think one of the challenges with um, QR codes is that people are using them to um, link to stuff that is not mobile optimal. So it's a really poor experience for some users and also not explaining what people get out of scanning the, um, the code. So it's really in, in part a bit of a communication problem as well. But I think as I showed today, we're going to be um, in an environment where we just need to have proximity sensors and people will just start to transact um, just by the location. And you mentioned augmented reality. Is the new Harper's Bazaar viewer app one of these examples? Yeah, yeah. it's a type of augmented reality into playing with um, print, so being able to um, download the app and then um, place the app over your phone over a print product and bring up content on your phone. And do you see virtual shops coming to grocery stores like Woolworths being able to go down the aisle online? Um, it's already happening overseas in Japan. Um, in subways they actually have um, images of um, different products and people can actually scan and then um, home delivers. So eventually I think it could actually, maybe not inside a supermarket, but outside of a ship, taking that supermarket experience and placing it in. Um, unpredictable or more convenient locations like the subway or transition. Great, thank you. Thank you.